Hello PATIC participants. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a technique that you can use to pre-cycle your aquarium prior to receiving fish. Pre-cycling your aquarium is a great option for you to consider to help reduce any mortality that you would otherwise experience after you introduce fish to your system. If this is something that you want to try to do, ideally you want to initiate this process at least four to six weeks prior to the egg shipment. So you can see we have our trout in the office system all set up here in Belfont. When we initially set this up, we did turn the chiller on to verify that it was operating correctly. After we ensured the water temperature throughout the whole entire system was what we had set the chiller to, we then turned that chiller off. Reason being, if you're going to pre-cycle your aquarium, water temperature that's actually closer to room temperature will better promote the growth of that bacterial colony that you're trying to establish. Some of the items that you're going to require to initiate the process is your Secum Prime water conditioner, your Microbe Lift Special Blend, Freshwater Master Test Kit, and you're also going to need an ammonia source. For our trout in the office, I'm just going to use regular fish flake food to source that ammonia to our aquarium. You can get this at Walmart or any pet store for just a couple of dollars. So after you turn your chiller off, Got your water temperature closer to room temperature, the very first step in the pre-cycling process is to dechlorinate your water. That's where the Secum Prime comes in. So I've already added this per the manufacturer instructions for our 55 gallon tank here for Trout in the Office. Once you've dechlorinated your water, the next thing that you're going to add is the Microbe Lift Special Blend. I've also already added this to our Trout in the Office aquarium per the manufacturer's instructions on the bottle. Now what this does is it's going to introduce the bacterial colony that you're trying to establish and it's also going to promote its growth. The next thing that you're going to need is your Freshwater Master Test Kit. And I'm just going to use this to gather some baseline data before we source that ammonia to make sure that this all makes sense. If you want to see how to utilize the Freshwater Master Test Kit, then you can go check out our video concerning water quality testing and monitoring. So I've gathered that baseline data. And since we've never sourced ammonia or anything else that could initiate that decay process, all our readings for the nitrogen cycle should be a zero. And that's exactly what they are. We have a, a zero parts per million for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. So now it's time to actually source that ammonia to your aquarium. So on day one, all I'm going to do is add a couple pinches of the flake food. So now that you've done that, the idea is that that flake food is going to settle at the bottom of your aquarium and start to decay. And that's going to source the ammonia for your beneficial bacteria to start running through that nitrogen cycle. Now all that's left to do is to monitor your water quality regularly. On day two, when you come in, do a water quality reading and see what your ammonia levels are. You should see those ammonia levels start to climb. That's good. The only thing is, you don't want to see those ammonia levels start to climb above 5 parts per million. If you see that, you're adding too much food, so just stop adding food at that point. After 5 to 10 days, you should see those ammonia levels peak, start to go down, and after 14 to 21 days, you'll see those nitrite levels peak. Same thing goes for nitrites. If you start to see your nitrites climb above 5 parts per million, then you also want to stop adding food. Now, the times can vary for when you see these peaks, and that's all based on different water chemistries and different water temperatures for different systems. Right around that 28 day mark is when you should see your nitrate levels peak, and essentially you should have a zero readings for ammonia and nitrite. That means you've officially cycled your aquarium. Now, that doesn't mean you're done. In order to sustain those bacterial communities until your fish arrive, it may be necessary to add a pinch of, of two of food per day, a, pin, a pinch or two of food per day in order to sustain that bacterial community. You're also going to want to make sure that if you're doing that, that those ammonia and those nitrite levels stay at zero. So completing this process, as I mentioned before, this is a great way for you to ensure that you get through that cycling process. That way, when you introduce your fish, you have a well-established healthy water chemistry and an established bacterial community.